Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, this is a secret video. <laughs> I just wanted to see her in a change of video, um, even though I haven't been sharing her yet. So when you guys see her, it'll be after the fact probably. But that just lets you know just how much I enjoy actually doing changing videos. Well, I'm not gonna say doing them. I actually like to watch them and I wanted to see how she would show up on camera. Um, so now I gotta see how I'm gonna get her changed without taking away so much light. Um, I really need to shop for her. Um, I've decided that she is not, um, like she's doing okay in these colors, but I kinda, sorry guys. Um, I kind of prefer her and I want to get her in more colors other than like muted colors or pinks like I've been she's been in a lot of pinks but I want to get her in more than just pinks so I'm going to move this over here in hopes that I will not ruin the lighting I'm going to try to see if I will if I can so I'm going to try to see if I can still keep the light and get her changed okay yay i think i got it um so she is not completely finished um and so you may see like i said some you know imperfections on her just yet but as i like to you know go over my babies and stuff like that um but for now we're gonna pretend like she's done so all right let me see what you guys see okay You know what? I'm just not I'm gonna go ahead and um get her. Ooh. So she does have elbow armatures, which works really nicely. This is my favorite baby to date. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love her so much. Like I spend a lot of time with this baby. Um I know some of you guys are probably like, ah, I don't care. Um, but yeah, I want to see her in like some blues. I think she'll look really good in some blues. I've seen her in lavender and I do love her in lavender. Um, so this is her, her little footsies oh my gosh like and of course there's some detail like in her face and stuff that won't show up on camera I've taken tons of photos of her and those have not shown up as well look at that mocha let me see let me see <laughs> let me see oh what did you see see and she wrinkles up so nicely I just love it I love it love it love it She's my, oh, she's so sweet. Like, she's the only baby that I literally want to, like, I see why people be like, oh, they're such little squishies. Because, oh my gosh, I love her. I love, like, this baby is so cuddly. Um, sometimes some sculpts, they can be super soft but not cuddly because of the way they're sculpted, I guess. And then sometimes, of course, it does have to do with the softness, but a lot of times I think it has to do with the way that they're sculpted. Sometimes they're just, just not cuddly. And for me, she is just like the perfect cuddle baby. Like when I pick her up, I literally feel like, come on, come on. I feel like I'm holding a real baby. I'm trying not to get in the camera and block so much light. 
I love though I, I have on all my lights on her right now so I think at least from what I see on my end I'm actually getting her color in the camera because sometimes she comes across super super pale um but she's she's not and then like in my bedroom because I have like absolutely no lighting my lighting sucks in there I don't care how much light I put on there hang on I don't care how much light I put in there it just don't it it, it still be dark I don't know like like just look at her <laughs> wait I don't know if you guys can see still see her <laughs> okay, she's so sweet anyway um alright let me flip her over so my favorite part on her as far as the painting go I love the way her hands came out <laughs> I don't know that's kind of trivial in her feet so I was really happy about that um I, I'm just, I don't know, I'm, I'm exploring, you know, different skin tones and just enjoying it and finding which babies are my true keepers and which ones I just enjoy painting and want to find homes. So I, um, I have another baby, that full body baby that I'm going to paint and I don't know if I'll keep it, um. I'm leaning more towards that it'll be for sale, but I'm not sure yet, so I'm just gonna wait, because sometimes I feel totally different about them once I paint them, and then I can't let them go, and it's like, man. So I'm thinking a uh, medium brown for her hair. Um, I don't know if I'll do curly or just wavy or you know how I will do with her hair but she's definitely gonna get her ears pierced and so I have this little hat um, I would put her on pink but I don't want a, just a flat hat on her so I'm gonna go with this hat and I don't even know which way is the best way I'm gonna assume this is the front You're a bald head. There we go. And then I could put on her some like long socks and she could be winter summer. <laughs> um not settled. 100% on a name. I had named her name, but then <sighs> forgot that a friend in the community have her baby, the middle name. So um, when she pointed that out to me, I decided maybe I should change her name. So I don't know yet the name yet. Um, although the name that I was calling her, it's what really stuck. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll find another one that works. Um, I'll tell you her name was Luna. But, like I said, a friend has that name. And I don't want to step on any toes or no one to be feeling any type of way. Which she said, it's fine. Go ahead. Keep it. But, like, nah. Since she, no, you know pointed it out it must have meant something so I'm not gonna go there um, I'm gonna just um, find her another name <laughs> but I loved it I will come up with something else so that's her so I just wanted to sh share her um, like I said I could have went with maybe another pink but I don't know 
um, as far as the hat goes, but I can play with hats and stuff off camera and see. Um, of course, I'll always take photos, but um, just interacting with her just is just relaxing. I don't know. It's just something about this particular sculpt. Um, Lily and Breville definitely won me over with this one. And this is funny because at first I saw her and I liked her as a clay sculpt. And then there was a moment I was like, oh, she's kind of frowny. I don't know. And then it was kind of like, no, I like her size. And then I, I liked her. And then, you know, so it was a back and forth. But when I got her and held her silicone in my hand, I was like, oh my God, this the silicone just feels so amazing. Um, Claire Teller's silicone is just unmatched for sure and not just that it's the actual um color the base color that her her kits come in um it makes such a major difference in the painting and a lot of people might might feel some type of way of me saying that but for me I love to start from her base um Caucasian pour because it's just such a good color and I saw another um artist from overseas she was saying the same thing she was like the base color is amazing and so that's you know it's a big to do for me so a lot of people are like oh you paint such and such sculpts better than you paint anybody else sculpts or something like that. it's not that sometimes just when you're working from a certain base it gives you that very neutral foundation to build your color up versus having to work against the color of the pore so um that makes a big difference. But this sculpt, um, I don't want to discount the fact of the sculpt. Everything about this sculpt is amazing that I love. And I love the size. So I'm really, really in love with her. So um, shout out to Lillian Breville for that. Um, I, you know, I don't know. I think I probably would pass out if they those two stopped working together. But anywho, um, it, you know. It was it's a good experience so I'm, I'm really excited really happy I'm glad to have her in my collection um, and I'm actually going to do something I normally don't do but I'm gonna let you guys know there's no secrets but I am going to give her a warm bottle after this video cuts off um, because I I I know her drinking wet works because when I was washing her and stuff through painting she would pee <laughs> so um, but I'm going to give her a warm bottle because I have not actually fed her to see how she takes the bottle and if the, you know, water goes back or if it's going to spill out her mouth more or whatever. So I am going to do that today, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. And I will talk to you guys later. If you want to see more of her, you can follow me on Instagram because most likely by the time you see her, she will be on Instagram. I'll try to get a little closer up on her face. Um, she does have some markings in her face. They're very subtle. Um, I noticed that when I took her in natural daylight, um, it showed up more than inside the house. But it still was subtle like I, I intended it to be. It just looked really, really realistic um, in the natural sunlight. So I was happy about that. And she does... She does do, do well in natural sunlight, um, on, you know, with outside, but, um, yeah, she's, she's definitely a sweetie, but I don't really, I don't know, this might sound real crazy coming from me. I do want to be able to take my babies out in, you know, and they look as good as they do outside, inside, but I really mainly care about how they're going to look in my nursery <laughs> or in my living room or you know because of the fact that um that's primarily where I'm going to enjoy my babies um and if you would have asked me that five years ago I would have said all types of crazy things out my mouth and told you heck no that's stupid that's a waste of money da 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 all this great stuff because so much you know I don't know so, so much change in the way I feel about this hobby right now so um yeah so that's that I can go on and on about how much I love her um but it's not necessary 
<laughs> so anyway, you guys, I hope you guys like her. Um, if not, that's fine. Just don't hurt my feelings. I do have feelings, guys. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.